Hello guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to add a new emulator on your uh, Digisu front end. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to add uh, Sudachi or Suyu emulators here. So on default, Digisu only have uh, Yuzu. So, like, I'm going to show you. Uh, I have added uh, two emulators here now the uh, Sudachi and the uh, Suyu. Now, I'm going to teach you how to uh, manually add that on your uh, Digisu front end. So, what you're going to do is go to the settings, then go to library. Then, choose this one, add a player. Next is uh, rename this one to the emulator of your choice. Like for example, Suyu. There, Suyu. Next is, you're going to change uh, these uh, arguments to the path of your uh, emulator. So I'm going to... Uh, Add it in the description, in the video description, so you can just uh, manually uh, copy and paste it to this uh, portion, to this uh, part. And also, you're going to uh, need to change this one, the accepted file name for the player. So I'm going to uh, add it, add it also to the video, uh, video description, so uh, you can manually add it. After that one, after that, uh, you can now press save. When done, you're going to uh, you can now check it if it's uh, working. Just uh, press inspect, inspect players. Then you go and uh, you can now uh, see the uh, emulator listed. Like for example, the uh, to you. I have it here, listed. Yeah. There. Now to choose this as a default player or emulator for your uh, uh, games for your chosen platform for your chosen platform like for example here uh, just uh, press this one then choose the uh, emulator of your choice since I did the default is a uh, Yuzu I'm going to change it to uh, Sudachi So there, so that you then press save. After that, the games will launch on the uh, Sudachi app instead of the Yuzu. So there, pretty simple, right? Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.